Hi, and welcome to this tutorial for setting up your own custom emitter inside of Unreal Engine 4. Today we're going to start with opening up Paint, and inside of Paint we're going to create an image with a black background, and it's important that we create our image with a black background because it's going to add to the um, additive effect of our uh, material. Anyways, we'll create an image on there. Um, I'm going to do some thick rings. Okay, that should be good. Um, save your image somewhere on your desktop. Alright, and after you save your image, you should be able to go into Unreal and go into Import Asset to Game, go to Desktop, and then find the image that we just saved. Okay, so now we have our, our image here. Okay, with the image we're going to create a material with it and then you want to crack open the material and inside of the uh, properties here the description um, look over under your details and search for blend mode under blend mode we want to make this additive that is going to make our material now translucent so then we can apply it to the emitter for only the image effect okay so we'll save that may take a second to load it. There we go. Now that we have our mat, we can go in and right click and create a custom particle system. Um, name it whatever you want. I'm going to name this ring particle. Okay, crack it open. And you may want to minimize it. I don't know how you want to add your material in, but to add your material, you can go to required. At the top, you'll see material. You can either select it right here or you can also drag and drop your material in. Okay, then we'll maximize. And it's going to compile, so while it compiles, I'm going to just uh, pause the video. Okay, and we're back, and here we have our custom material applied to our particle system. Um, now that we have it applied, we can now modify some settings. Um, if we go into um, initial velocity, you can go into start velocity, its distribution, and start modifying these properties. If you set them all the same, it'll move it into one solid line. You can then modify these to uh, shoot out in a bunch of different directions. Now applying um, the negative values. And if you set them all to zero, you can create a solid image. Um, this is good for if you want to apply it to say a race car. Um, the image will then disperse as the object moves rather than it doing it on its own. Um, it's good for if you want to have dust kicking up or just any sort of rocket trail, anything like that. Now we'll set our distribution back to where it's all over the place. And if you go into spawn and go to rate and distribution, this is the number of images that it spawns over a given time. Right now we have it set to 20. Um, if we could set it up to 200, it'll make it even bigger. We could set it up to 2,000. You could even set it up to 2 million if you wanted to. I mean, you can get some really cool effects with this right here. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, just leave them down in the comments. Um, please subscribe and uh, check out my other videos if you haven't already. Um, and um, I look forward to you guys checking out the next one. Thanks again.